What is going on, Future Focus Nation? My name is George, and I talk about investing on this channel. And today, I wanted to talk to you about bio nanogenomics ticker symbol BNGO. This company is in the genomic space. A lot of people smarter than me believe that genomics is going to be a revolution within the next five to 20 years. They really believe that genomics is going to play a role from when you're an embryo all the way until you die. Imagine a doctor coming to a parent and saying, because of your child's genetic makeup, when they turn 30, they have an 85% chance of developing pancreatic cancer. This technology is going to be able to help identify problems before they even become problems. But what is genomics? Genomics is an interdisciplinary field of biology focusing on the structure, function, evolution, mapping, and editing of genomes. A genome is an organism's complete set of DNA, including all of its genes. Genomics also involves the sequencing and analysis of genomes through uses of high throughput DNA sequencing and bioformatics to assemble and analyze the function and structure of entire genomes. Advances in genomics have triggered a revolution in discovery-based research and systems biology to facilitate understanding of even the most complex biological systems, such as the brain. So what role does bio nanogenomics play in this whole revolution? They have a set of products that they sell or lease to genomicists. A genomicist is someone who studies all of the DNA and all of the sequence in an organism and makes conclusions based on all of it. With all that said, let's take a deeper dive into who they are and what they really do. Bio nano systems provide essential genomic information no other technology can provide to help advance greater understanding of genome biology. BioNano's next generation mapping combines proprietary nanochannel arrays with optical mapping to image extremely long, high molecular weight DNA in its most native state. This technology enables unparalleled structure variation sensitivity, genome assembly contiguity, hundreds of times that of short read sequencing alone, and the accuracy to correct sequencing based errors. BioNano optical genome mapping begins with the isolation of HMW DNA. BioNano sample kits are optimized for isolating and purifying HMW DNA in a process that is gentler than existing HMW DNA extraction methods. The resulting purified DNA, several megabases in length, is optimal for the use of BioNano systems. Each BioNano prep kit allows you to perform 5 to 10 HMW DNA preps. BioNano kits and protocols enable the extraction of HMW DNA from a variety of sample types, including soft or fibrous, animal tissue, plant tissue, cell lines, human blood, bone marrow. Eric Holman is their president and chief executive officer. Eric Holman is a dynamic leader with more than two decades of experience developing innovative solutions and companies in the life sciences and healthcare industries. Eric's experience includes positions at GeneVault Corporation, Exacon, and Becton Dixon. In 2001, Eric led the formation of financing efforts in genome sciences and orchestrated the company's acquisition of Becton Dickinson in 2006. He also served as an entrepreneur in residence at leading life science venture capital firm, Domain Associates. So he has experience. I also like to look at who manages the money. Their chief financial officer is Christopher Stewart. Christopher Stewart is a seasoned leader with over 20 years of experience spanning finance, accounting, and strategic planning for many commercial stage operating businesses. Chris has served in a number of executive roles in both private and public companies as controller VP of finance and CFO. He also has experience with major financing events, acquisitions, and scaling revenues in high growth tech companies. He joined BioNano from Tesla, where he served as head of Maxwell Ultraceptors business unit after Maxwell Technology was acquired by Tesla. Chris received his Master of Science in Business Administration and Finance from University of Southern California and his MBA in France from Carnegie Mellon University. Now here are three other products that BNGO offers and they have three ways to get bio nano data. One way is through the service, the other way is through consumables, and the last is with the Sapphire system, which is their latest innovation. Bio nano data services, which is the first method, the way it works is you submit samples to bio nano data services and receive an appropriately filtered set of structural variant calls. SV data is presented using the bio nano access visualization software. Files can be exported in the format of your choice. The BioNano support team will work with you on experiment design and analysis training. Full analysis is available as an option. And down here at the bottom, you see their pricing. So $650 per genome, $750 per genome for Messiah cancer, and $950 per genome for Messiah cancer samples collected at 1600X. The second way is the consumables. So they offer these chips over here. 
and you run the samples in-house with a Sapphire instrument free of charge for the duration of your project. The BioNano support team will install the Sapphire system and provide training on sample preparation, instrument operation, and data analysis. The pricing for this is 550 per genome with commitment of 120 genomes per six months. Installation and training is included. Installation and training is included, although I don't know if batteries are included. That's a small little joke. Or you can just get the whole Sapphire system. You can purchase the Sapphire system for your institution without any reagent commitment. The BioNano support team will install the Sapphire system and provide training on sample preparation, instrument operation, and data analysis. The Sapphire system starts at 150,000. So looking at the products that they offer, it's great that BioNano Genomics gives genomicists different options for the way they can utilize it. A lot of these genomicists work in companies or small little facilities that are either funded by the government or funded by venture capitalists. They don't have an infinite amount of money. There are some operations that are smaller and some that are bigger in nature. So having the option to get a bigger package for one of these bigger companies, or maybe a smaller package for a company that's just experimenting with genomics is truly beneficial. Let's take a look at some of the news that's been developing for BioNano Genomics. So uh, February, BioNano published a method for identifying genes likely to cause neurological diseases based on a model developed by Linogen to improve interpretation of variants of unknown significance. On February 25th, BioNano Sapphire data prove essential in creating the most comprehensive, ethnically diverse collection of genome variation ever completed. On March 1st, BioNano to be featured at AGBT 2021 with presentations of scientific discoveries made with Sapphire in psychiatric disorders and cancer. The latest news is that on March 3rd, BioNano customer Praxis Genomics received DEC Z codes from Palmetto for their whole genome analysis LTD on Sapphire. BioNano Genomics announced today that Praxis Genomics received DEC Z codes from Palmetto for its entire testing menu of laboratory developed tests based on Sapphire. So they use the system from BioNano Genomics in order to prove these concepts. The Sapphire system is capable of handling Praxis' sample workload after the latest updates to the system enabled it to map 96 human samples per week or about 5,000 per year. BioNano continues to focus on improving the throughput of OGM for even higher volume laboratories and aims to increase the throughput of a single system to as much as 17,000 samples per year by the first half of 2023. The CEO of BioNano Genomics said that we are impressed with the progress of Praxis Genomics and its founder towards making OGM a first-line test for genetic disease genome analysis. Following Praxis's CAP accreditation, we believe that the assignment of mold X Z codes for Sapphire testing is an important next step to enable more widespread reimbursement of OGM by private and public players. Praxis, once again, is the first U.S. laboratory to pass this milestone, and we believe other U.S. labs will follow in Praxis footsteps over time and build the path towards reimbursement. In other words, making money back on all the effort they're putting into all of this. BioNano continues to invest in making OGM faster and even more cost effective to make cytogenic solutions suiting the full range of testing volumes from small local cytogenetics labs to high volume commercial or academic testing sites. In other words, he's trying to say that he believes that after this achievement, other companies are going to see this and they're going to be like, okay, maybe we should use Sapphire as well. Now let's take a look at the chart. So here we have the three month chart for BNGO. As you can see here, $7.81 has served as support and resistance on multiple occasions, hitting a high of $15.64 on February 21st. Since then it's down about 50%. So two things I want you to keep in mind when looking here is that yes, this company is down 50%, but another thing you should look at when you're looking at a stock, it's also where has it come from? So while it's down 50%, you can see here by looking at the chart that in the last three months, the stock has gone up over 700%. So just because it's down 50% doesn't mean that it can't go down even further. Taking a look here at the monthly, you can see it's down on the month, but in this current environment, a lot of stocks are also down for the month. Seeing that this company hasn't plummeted as much as other companies have is something you should keep an eye on. Here we see the price action from yesterday with it hitting a low of $7.20 and it hit a high of $8.91 before falling all the way down to $7.75 when the session closed. 
So you can see that it's been pretty volatile the last few days. However, with the current market conditions, a lot of stocks are acting the same way. Even very stable companies like Apple, McDonald's, Coca-Cola have similar looking charts. So a potential catalyst to consider and not saying this is going to happen. This is pure speculation. But if somebody like Kathy Wood from ARK Invest decided to say this company's name publicly or actually start investing in it with her open source way of investing that very same day, I believe this stock would pop. Just yesterday, she was on CNBC and she was asked about a company that she would be investing in right now. And she mentioned Invitae, ticker symbol NVTA. And just off of mentioning that a stock that had dropped from $60 all the way down to $30 was immediately resurrected to $36 just because she mentioned their name. I'm really bullish on the sector. I think that this sector has a lot to offer. And being that bio-nanogenomics offers a different set of products for genomicists and scientists to utilize for studying genomes, I really believe that this company has the ability to thrive. But what are you guys doing? Is this a company that you guys have confidence in that you think is going to thrive in the genomic space? Or is there another company that you feel more comfortable with in genomic space? If you even feel comfortable in the genomic space at all, are you buying? Are you holding? Are you selling? Let me know in the comments below. I know with all the volatility in the market, it's really tough to try to put your money in something when you think that it's going to keep going down. If you want some tips on how to invest in an environment like this or in a market crash, I recommend watching this video right here. As always, invest in me and press that like button, invest in yourself and smash that subscribe button. Until next time.